I think it's safe to say that my favorite productivity app to use is Notion. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I keep my freelance business organized on Notion, how I plan everything, and just remember all of the tasks that I have to do. Hey guys, it is Faith, welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about organization and productivity in the digital space. A few months back, I did a official Notion tour and not much has changed since I did that video. So today we're gonna be talking a little bit more about the freelancing business side of things and how I keep everything organized on my Notion. So I'm gonna show you guys a behind the scenes look of how I plan my content, for my personal brand, as well as all of my client organization stuff for my freelancing business. And of course, my template to my entire Notion will be linked down below. So you guys can copy some of the templates I already have on my personal Notion. So without further ado, let's get right on into the video. I feel like my Notion overall is more on the simpler side of things. So I'm just gonna introduce to you guys my personal brand page. This is kind of like the table of contents for everything I have for my personal brand. So this is my YouTube, this is my personal Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, all of that. So I have it down to YouTube and Instagram, but Instagram's more like the short form video stuff. But let's go on to the content planner because I actually use this sub page um, the most out of all of the other ones. So as you can see, it's like pretty simple. I like to keep things very minimal and simple so it's easier to organize everything. I don't wanna feel overwhelmed with like checking a whole bunch of like boxes and making sure everything is all color coded. As long as I have like certain labeling down to a science, I feel like that's like the best organization for me. So in the calendar, I do my absolute best to have all of the content that I'm filming and planning on posting on this calendar so I know all the elements I need to gather to create that content. But as of right now, it's just YouTube videos. I feel like it's a little tedious to add on my calendar every little bit of content that I'm filming, but we can go to the previous months and we also have um, stuff on the calendar of what I'm gonna be posting for that day across all my social media. So sometimes I'm feeling in the organization mood. Sometimes I'm just like, let's just put it on there so I don't forget to post this. So in that aspect, it's not the most organized, but it definitely keeps me on track because my content planner is linked to my weekly agenda, which is literally the one page I use every single day every single hour that I'm working. When I'm filling out my YouTube videos on this calendar, I actually use someone else's template. I forget whose template it is, but it's on my personal Notion template that I'll link below. So you can kind of like copy that template and add it and duplicate it to yours. Basically it has all of these notes. So the different statuses of the video, we have everything from idea to scripting to scheduled to A-roll films, B-roll films. And at the top, sometimes I like to answer this if I'm not 100% sure what the video idea is going to be, but this goal is what value does this video bring to your audience? And that's a really good like little mental note to have in the back of your mind, especially for sit down videos like this. I like to think, okay, what's the overall goal of this video? And then I have some title ideas. So I'll list like three to five different title ideas and kind of pick out the best one out of all of them. And if I'm doing research on a topic I'll just put like extra notes and stuff but usually what goes here is like the actual tags or certain keywords I want to include throughout the video and then of course I have the script area so this is basically where I kind of put in my overall outline of the video and like the main points I want to include in this video but that's an overview of what is on the actual calendar. Now, if you scroll down a little bit, I recently added this content schedule board. It's super simple to add one of these little to-do things on here. This is just the default in which I just downloaded. So this isn't entirely accurate, but you can add in, you know, posting a newsletter, posting a pin, film content, that sort of stuff. And you can categorize it into what social platforms, the status of it. So I feel like this is gonna be super simple for me, um, especially when I already have content banked up and I'm ready to post it. I can kind of categorize what kind of content is gonna be posting on what kind of days. So that's very, very new, but I'm super excited to try it out. I usually do this kind of layout on my whiteboard on my desk actually, because I have, 
Um, a glass top, so I like to use a dry erase marker and kind of make a schedule and then take a photo of it and then reference that back throughout the weeks. But with this way, it's a lot better because it's digital and I can edit it and move things around. It's just easier that way. And then on the side, I have some quick links. So my social media, so if I need to get to it quickly, um, I have a folder for all of my collab concepts. So if I have a collab coming up, I'll go to this, which let's just go to it right now. I have the brand's name at the top, where the brand collab came from. This is from the Octoly app. I write down the product, what social media platform I'm posting on, um, the required copy, so this is like the required hashtags to use, or uh, certain things that I gotta mention in the caption. And then down below, I'll upload some like photo concepts, so I kinda know like the theme and the vibe of the collab photo, or sometimes I'll write down the outline for the reel that I wanna post with it. It just really depends on what the deliverables are, but. In this case, this is for an Instagram photo. And then if there is a rate, this was a gifted collab. So if there is a rate, then I'll put it on there as well as the status of the collab. Now, a lot of my collabs are either exchanged through email or by like a contract. So I'll either include the email thread or the document um, of the contract. I'll link that, I'll embed it into the sub page. So something that I've been trying to get better at is organizing all of my short form videos. So I have this folder called mini vids. This is for TikTok, Instagram, all of the short form videos. On here I have a table of all of the videos I want to do. First column is a link. So usually that's like an audio I want to use or a video that I got inspiration from, whether it's a trending video, I'll add the link of the TikTok or the Instagram reel on there. Um, I'll write like a little description of what the video is about so I don't have to click on all of these links to figure out what video is what. And then I'll put the status of the video, whether it's just an idea or I filmed it or it's on my hard drive ready to upload in the drafts, whatever, and then some additional notes. It's very simple to follow. That's what I like. I don't want to overcomplicate things. Then video ideas list. Um, this is like a little board that I put up. This is for more of my video ideas on YouTube. So I categorize them into lifestyle, beauty, fashion, social media, and content. This is super convenient to refer back to if I just don't know what to film or I don't really have a lot of motivation to film certain content. So I'm just like, okay, what's plan B? I'll go on here and try to find a different video idea. When I have these random spurts of creativity, I want to just write everything down. So usually that's YouTube video ideas and I'll put it on into this board. And then what you can also do is click on one of these and you can write additional notes. So overall with the personal brand, I kind of have everything linked up. So if I'm on my content planner, I can quickly go to my collab concepts and quickly go to my video ideas if I have a random video idea thought. So I don't have to run around my Notion page and try to find everything. And I like that everything is still like neat and minimal and like pretty cute, but it's also like not overwhelming with like all of these different graphics and fonts like it's super easy to read and follow through so with that being said let's go on into the actual client work so this one is a little simpler as of right now because I only have a few clients that I'm currently working with so I have a bunch of different like clients for like consultations and stuff so I won't really show those but I'll include like an example of a mock like client page so you guys kind of have a good idea so on the title I will have the client's name also the brand if I'm working with a brand I'll put that on there I will have the role that I have with this client the rate and I'll also include the initial call notes because I feel like that's like the most important notes to keep is the initial call because you know what they are looking for going in and what kind of deliverables that they're looking for so if there's any kind of confusion later on then you can refer back to like hey this is what I'm actually supposed to be doing this is outside of my role just like little things like that I just like to keep my initial call in there just for details and stuff now if it's social media management I'll include a 
file or I'll do an audit on Notion and just screenshot it. I can reach out to the client and say, hey, here's the audit. This is what I would change or this is what I'm looking to do when I'm managing your account. Of course, a screenshot of what their social media looks like before I manage them so I can compare that to when I'm no longer working for them and I can compare and add it to my portfolio. Um, I also have their login information. I have like a separate like little drop down for usernames, passwords, like literally everything that I need for this client, I will have on my Notion down to like files, contracts, all that kind of stuff. I'll embed that into my Notion folder. So if I'm working with a client and we're in a call or I'm doing something related to this client, I can just go to one page and I have everything from the initial call to the passwords, to the contracts we had, to the invoices, literally everything is just in one page. It's so, so convenient. And obviously have a backup on my computer in case my Notion gets shut down or I can't get into it for some reason for lack of internet access or whatever reason. Um, so I definitely do have a backup of my client work onto different folders. Um, different drives and stuff. So that's another good tip is to always have a backup on a separate device or on a separate platform. But yeah, that is how I keep everything organized on my clients and on my personal brand. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you guys kind of got some ideas of what to add on to your Notion. Leave a comment down below for any questions that you have. I have been loving doing productivity and social media talks. But with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.